Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess. If you are new here, hi. Hello, I am Princess. I do a multitude of things on my channel, from art to journaling, and today we are doing more art. Um, I am doing a painting today for Women's History Month, and I hope you guys really enjoy me going through the process or going to see, you know, how this elk ends up. I am not too scared. Actually, it's a pretty simple painting, but I wanted to do something to honor all the women in our uh, world, universe, planet. Uh, this particular day so let's get into the video so i wanted to do a little piece for women's history month because i did one for black history month and i need to do one for women's history month because not only am i black i am also if you couldn't tell a woman <laughs> um so for this one i did a little heart filled with different women that uh i really wanted to do um as i was thinking of this i realized that i had seen this piece before and it was done by uh this beautiful woman t rose illustrations on instagram i'm going to leave her link in the description down below but i remember she'd done some she'd particularly done a painting like that and i wanted to make sure i gave inspiration where inspiration was due of course and she's a beautiful artist i think you guys should go check her out on instagram so please after watching this video go give her a like go give her some love because she makes some of the, the most beautiful art that piece that she has done is like years old just so you know um <laughs> it's like uh i think she did it for like 2019 women's history month but i didn't want to give inspiration i give um credit where it was due um so on to the actual piece so i want to do something for women's history month because like i said um i am female uh and black so i want to do something that was like pretty i'm gonna say interesting for black history for uh, women's history month so i decided to do just um, a little heart filled with uh only like five black five, six women <laughs> It's a little disproportionate and which is okay but i still like how it came out i'm not gonna lie i think it came out so pretty it came out um so much like how i really envisioned it to be and this isn't the first piece i've done for like women's history month i also did a piece last year inspired by one of my favorite songs uh by boa which is a uh, woman and i want to do something uh this year that was a little bit different so i decided to do a full campus painting because if you have not noticed i've been trying to um paint do a lot of paintings because i've started a series on my tiktok where i cover a bunch of paintings that i've had for months or years that i just really didn't like um how they came out so i decided to turn them into something that i really did like um this was actually a fun painting to do not gonna lie to you um putting together the skin tones i think was the hardest part for me because i have a very limited amount of paint and I love working with my Posca pens, but I do not have the skin tones pack. I just have this brown. And I really need to order the Posca, the skin tone Posca pens because they make me happy. Because using Posca pens is so much easier for me than just using regular paint. But I did want to make sure I had a variety of skin tones in this piece to make sure I represented as many skin tones as I could. I also decided to put a young lady with vitiligo over on the top. So that's what you see me painting now. This is actually me painting all the skin tones. Because I usually film these when I'm also filming a TikTok, so I get little weird skips in here and there, uh, where it's just suddenly something is there. Uh, so that's, if you want to follow me on TikTok, you completely can, because you can see all of my um, different pieces that I've done, or different paintings that I haven't posted on to um, Instagram, or made into videos. And if you want to see my current series that I'm doing, I am doing a series where I'm drawing the uh different planets as a pretty woman a uh, cute girls actually and i'm i'm actually really enjoying that series but let's move on to actually talking about the painting so first things first is again it's a kind of a heart it's a heart made out of different women they kind of pop out of the heart and sometimes are just completely encased in it and i absolutely love how it came out um, one of my favorite girls is actually the young woman at the bottom with the hijab. Um, I've drawn a young lady with a hijab before and I really wish I could find that painting. Um, it was a painting that I did in school for a school project. Um, and I wish, I really wish I could still find it, but I've lost so much of my art from school that I just kind of gave up. I did a young, young woman over on the other side, uh, who does not have any hair and I'm not going to lie. She was my favorite she's she's my favorite i think she's my favorite i've drawn a young woman without hair before and honestly i always thought it always looked pretty i think it's just because that i really want to just shave my head as a person with an afro that has to deal with the actual afro the amount of times that i've wanted to shave my head is ridiculous and also i think this piece is actually inspired by one of my friends who actually has a 
oh my goodness, she has the disease where she pulls out, she starts uh, pulling out small hairs and things like that, but she uh, has a large amount of hair loss, so she really did inspire this piece, so I really like this character also. Um, I think the other girls that I did was a young woman in the middle who has, uh, has freckles all in her face, the young lady with the afro, and then of course the young woman with the dreads. I wanted to make, as, like I said, I wanted to make as many skin tones and different hairstyles as I could um, fit into this little heart. I, was, I really wish I was able to put a sixth person, but with the room that I had, I couldn't really fit a six, uh, sixth person, a seventh person in. But I still like how it came out. I still like how all of the girls look together. I decided to go with the green because it was still March and I wanted to, you know, represent the fact that, you know, we still in March, you know, March's biggest color is green because this is also the month with the holiday, St. Patrick's Day. And so I wanted to, you know, give homage to that as well. The only thing is I also used um, a little brown color for any cl any kind of like clothing that was going to be shown of the girls. So like there's a girl at the top with the vitiligo. She has a little top on, a little crop top on, not a crop top, but a tube top on that I painted brown, which you'll see farther in the video. Um, I've also done a lot of gold detailing because I wanted to add in a little bit of sparkle and I'm not a big silver person so I usually go for a gold um, metallic pen which we'll see uh, later in the video I wanted to make sure I got all of them as close to what I wanted as possible I love how they all came out they all came out so pretty um, tell me who your favorite girl is because honestly now that I think about it now that I see the end product as I'm painting this I really can't pick <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the um just the music in the background and I will see you guys in the outro.
you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and a, a comment down below what your favorite piece little edge little favorite like element from this uh, painting is so I can see if you want to see more of my videos they're all linked on my channel um, I do a lot of art here so do as you please if you want to see more of my art or anything else that I do please follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys next time bye